If you're studying psychology and you need to know about the biological approach, this video is for you. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the assumptions of the biological approach. So when we're talking about behavior, cognition, emotion, an explanation for their existence is going to be done in the terms of the working part of the brain and on the hormones. We're also going to attribute things like behavior to genetics. We may say that cognition is due to evolution. So think of these three things, behavior, cognition, emotion, and they're going to be due to things like hormones, genetics, and evolution. So in cognitive psychology, we compare our brains to things like computers, but in biological, it's not so much a computer. It's more like a living organism. Some may even just call it an organ made up of a bunch of cells. These cells are neurons and those neurons create the nervous system. And that nervous system is literally like chains of communication throughout our entire body. So do you remember in science class when we looked at the structure of neurons and synapses? In the brain, neurons form areas of the body with specific functions, certain jobs like vision or hearing. And hormones are also used to communicate within the body. Chemicals are released into the bloodstream from glands such as the adrenal gland. I know we all know that one. And they may produce a chemical like adrenaline in response to fear, whatever is going on. Some glands like the testes or the ovaries, they're going to release hormones like testosterone or estrogen. The body is literally sending very short, rapid messages all over the place in order for our body to release these chemicals when needed. Now we're going to talk about genes, more so as a hereditary unit, not the type that you wear. It's basically an instructional manual that is passed down from adult to child. And everyone's genes are completely unique except for identical twins, specifically monozygotic twins. And our genes determine our biological function and structure. And it's important to know that just because we are born with a specific biological structure, it doesn't stay exactly the same our entire lives. Scientists are now realizing that our environmental factors can sometimes contribute to the changes in our genes and our hormones. Specifically, a lot of chemicals that are found in things like sunscreen affect and imbalance our hormones. But genes are also very important when it comes to things like evolution. Because when genes pass from one generation to the next, things can happen such as mutations. Now over long periods of time, it's easier to go back and look and see the mutations that may have had to happen according to our environment. Mm -hmm maybe starvation, maybe having to get away from predators. But now we are basically in a society where the adaptation isn't necessarily things that are around us, but more so within our mind or technology-based. And it's pretty cool how it works because way back then when people didn't live past 35 years old, those who were able to live long enough and have children their genes, the ones that were superior, the ones that were able to survive longer, were the ones that were passed down. So luckily, those who did not have the adequacy to survive, their genetics may have died off quicker. And some people call this natural selection. I want you to look back in your life and see if any specific situations may have shaped your behavior, any interactions or social influences. Now think about other people in your family, siblings, aunts and uncles. You aren't exactly like them. And that is due to your environment, the things that you experienced while you were out in the world. And when it comes to biology, psychological advantages matter. Quick thinking can aid in survival. Having good emotional or social skills can aid in cooperation with other people or help you get food, help you to feed yourself and survive and even having the ability to communicate can offer you protection. If you like this video, and you too want to be an ace at psychology, follow for more. And don't forget to smash that like button.